My name is Michael Potts. I live on a Scepter 36 foot sailboat. And this is where I am today. I'm in Fort Pierce, Florida. And in the last episode, I managed to get my alternator fixed. And in this episode, new crew joins. And we make it all the way down to Peck Lake. And we finally have some time to enjoy and explore some of Florida's beaches. It's a really interesting episode. Stick around. Let's get into the video. Just an update. Everything's going good. Boat is nice and clean. There's no mold anywhere. Everything has been taken outside and beaten and uh, wiped down all the lockers and surfaces multiple times. I've cleaned the floor multiple times. Engines working, alternators working. Decks clean, cockpits relatively clean and uh, everything's going good. So Dev is somewhere between uh, Fort Lauderdale and Fort Pierce. He'll probably be here like at nine tonight because it's quite a bus ride. Um, so when he gets a little closer, I'm gonna go pick him up at the marina. So here's the situation. Uh, I'm picking up Dev over there in half an hour. So I'm worried we're gonna get arrested because it's 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 private property and I keep going in and out of there. There's someone watching me over there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go over there and I get a ticket or something. So the problem is, is the dinghy engine, there's something going on with it. I don't wanna take it all the way over there when I can just take it right there. <clears throat> so, and uh, so that's the situation people partying on that boat over there so we'll see what happens so I'm gonna let the camera roll as we go over there it'll be dark by then but uh, yeah hopefully we can get Dev back to the boat without getting a ticket all right I made it, I made it ashore hello Captain. are you here <laughs> uh, no not yet I just wanted to know what side of the water you were on uh, that picture are you there? Uh, I'm at the diner right now, so Devin's almost here. He's gonna be here in like five minutes. So, <laughs> ooh, it's Florida. There's always craziness going on here. Always madness, you know? <laughs> hey, brother. Pause. <laughs> you got my bag and I'll say hello. Yeah, all right. There he is. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. Alright. So hey brother, how are you doing? Man? I made it. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah man. Alright. It was a adventure, man. Our flight got uh turned around. Yeah. Our and then it got uh and then we had to do an emergency takeout, like an emergency lift off coming down the runway. So Devin's been here five minutes and we're already gonna do something illegal. We're gonna trespass. Let's see if we get arrested. Back to Canada. First day I'm here. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make it back to the boat, hopefully without a ticket. So I'm gonna put the camera on the on the thing here, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, you want to go to the right? Right over here, brother. Right over here. Okay, so what I didn't tell you is we're now gonna be infested with. Uh, No seams and and mole crabs, so you'll probably be itchy tonight, but it's okay. You get used to it, like dude. If you look at my legs, they're just all oh, yeah. like bitten to, bitten to shit. So, all right, <laughs> you squeeze through this hole here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Already bushwhacking. It's been ten minutes. 10 minutes into the trip. Pizza, beer in hand, breaking the law. <laughs> All right, let's get to the boat. So that lady's probably gonna call the cops right there. Oh, okay, just 
put your shit in here. Okay, take your shoes off, hop in the water, and uh, pull the dinghy out. Do you have an air pump? Mm hmm. It's a leak. I'm working on it. Just like the rest of it, it's all broken. Nothing works on this boat. Do you know where uh, your leak is? So. I don't want to drive it too much. All right, let's get to it. Darn, she blows by. Look at that. She floats. Ah, uh, believe it or not. That's okay. Let's get set up. Welcome to Eevee, bud. Oh, I've heard the legend. Don't you. First rum of the season, brother. Woohoo! Welcome aboard, Devin. <laughs> yeah. It is a beautiful winter uh, morning here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Uh, Devin's been on the boat now for uh, a few days and he settled in nicely. So unfortunately, I really screwed up. Uh, when, when he came, we had like a couple beers and I was distracted and I left that Bimini window on that uh, Bimini roof panel. It was nice and calm at the time, but all of a sudden a wind picked up and it flew overboard. I think I actually heard it. I came out of my sleep and heard something go overboard. And uh, you gotta be tuned into the boat as you're, as you're <laughs> here. So anyway, the, the, window, the window fell in the water and dropped. What I did is I dropped a buoy. See the buoy right there? Just, just to have a reference. So it's 12 and a half feet deep here. I do have scuba gear for this uh, purpose. So really hoping that uh, I can go in the water, go along the bottom and I will find my Bimini window because it was, I just put a new window on it and you know, my dad's gonna murder me when he finds out about this because he's, he's just gonna give me, give me hack. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's put the scuba gear on, go in the water. It's, it's almost slack tide. Slack tide is at, uh, is, that, is at noon today. So it's like we have an hour. So I'm gonna get all the scuba gear ready do my checks and Devin is going to be watching for safety reasons. All right, Dev? Also a licensed scuba diver. <laughs> so we're not doing anything uh, too crazy here. It's just 12 feet deep here. I'm going to go along the bottom. We put a camera down yesterday and we thought it, we saw sharks. We just catfish. I think it was catfish and they, they were attracted to the electricity inside the camera, which was really interesting. So without further ado, let's put the gear on, get in the water and hope, praying praying that I, I get my Bimini window back because it's so important to have that green water over you know what I mean it, it when it rains I have to find it so I'm gonna try my best let's get down there with the scuba gear and find this window we got the gear out Dev pumped up the, the dinghy <clears throat> so thinking strategy the tide was going this way the other direction when it when I dropped it and the back of my boat was in front of that boy on the other side so it probably would have fallen off and drifted somewhere this way so my plan is is to we're gonna take the dinghy out there we're gonna anchor and I'm gonna follow the anchor line down and head in the direction of this boat via compass on the bottom and then just try and go back and forth unfortunately there's only uh, 2,000 bar in the tank 2,000 PSI in the tank. That would maybe give me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna absolutely last minute, I'll turn the tanks on, hop in, go down, and just do what we can because I really hope I find this this Bimini. I'm really praying. Anytime that I've gone down before, I've found things that I've dropped, but uh, we'll have to see. So stick around, this is gonna be really interesting. Error, Sarah, sirens. Crazy. 
crazy. I'm gonna use this rig actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, you want me to air you up? Yeah, air me up. Fucking <sighs> leaky rag, man. The window was irretrievable. The Bimini window is lost forever. And I'm just gonna have to get a new one. It was pretty worn out, although I just had the right window replaced, whatever. Anyway, sometimes you just gotta move on with life. So there's no reason that we need to be here. And what we're gonna do, instead of trespassing and potentially getting arrested for trespassing, we're gonna go and change anchorages to just on the other side of the bridge, which is, uh, near like the, there's a big Publix and Wendy's and stuff. We're gonna anchor there. Uh, hopefully we can anchor there and then we'll go ashore and get everything that we need. And then we can finally leave Fort Pierce. where Publix is. Publix is over there. We're in Fort Pierce. I'm just making a clip. So I just really sketched out about this particular anchorage. Really don't want to be here there for a number of reasons. For one, it's very close to this shoreline. For two, the wind is going this way. If we drug, we'd be on that beach. Two other guys have been here, but they're like over... Th two other guys have been here, but they're over there. I mean, what is my best course of action here? It gets really shallow here. Anyway, Devin has suggested to go ashore himself. I'll, I'll stay on anchor watch and he's gonna get what we need and come back. Yeah, it's a pretty good idea. And when he gets back, then we will go somewhere else. That's, that's better than this, because you know, maybe over there. <clears throat> and you're probably asking yourself, well, hey, why don't you just go over there and take the dinghy over here? The dinghy engine right now, it has some issues. I need to take it apart. Uh, there's a leak in the oil seal. So I don't want to run it too much because it, it may end up breaking. So that's what, that's the situation. Uh, let's see what happens. Shore and get some uh, supplies, and uh, we're, then we'll get out of here. We have made it to Peck Lake which is great. Uh, it's a little rainy today. Everything 
it was pretty good. We did uh, 27.5 nautical miles today. It rained at the end of the day here. It's now like four or five o'clock. And take a look at this beautiful anchorage, guys. Right over there is the beach. There's a private beach, like a nice public beach, whether whatever it is. Uh, the way, you can hear the waves in the distance. Look at this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful anchorage. It's really decent holding here. If you go to uh, marker 19, if you're heading south, uh, and you go to your port side and head a bit north, there's about 10 feet of depth here. I know it says 5.6 on the chart, or 5 feet 9 on the chart, on my charts anyway, uh, but it's wrong. So there is enough depth here to, uh, to anchor. It's really good holding. Anchor dug in, I got 60 feet of chain out. I'm pretty close to some other boats back here. So, awesome. This is a perfect place. We have provisioned, we have we have everything we need for a few days here. So I'm gonna get a bunch of work done. I'm gonna clean this deck. I'm gonna clean this anchor locker, repaint the anchor locker. I need to fix the fridge. I'm gonna climb up that mast and scrub the entire mast at the top, put the new uh, Navionics instruments on the top, uh, Raymarine. And uh, I'm gonna fix the UHF radio. Uh, I'm gonna program my AIS. So much that needs to be done, very happy. Devin's downstairs right now cooking tacos. We had amazing steak last night oh, with, with zucchini and onions, watch and kill Tony. I am having a great time, I must say. It's so nice to have someone here to talk to. And uh, yeah, so there's uh, a subscriber who's gonna either visit tonight or tomorrow. Her name is Kelly C. Shelley, <laughs> which I thought was really cool. Uh, she seems like a really nice woman and she wants to come over with some drinks and, and just visit. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So without further ado, let's, oh, I'm gonna just enjoy this. This is it, this is why I do this, you know? Oh man, I, I've never been, I've never felt so relaxed in the last six, last six months than I have now. Jeez, I'm tongue twisted today. Just had a bit of rum. <laughs> All right. what I love about look at this is it's the next day we're in this anchorage here it's a it's a bit rainy uh, take a look here you can hear the sound of the waves crashing oh it's just beautiful day sun's coming up I can hear the sound of the waves oh yeah this is what it's about So I think today we're gonna go over to this beach here. There's a big old beach right here. I'm hoping that uh, it, it, it doesn't, it stops raining. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Peck Lake, Florida. Look at this anchorage. Look at that. Now, if you look on Google Earth, uh, there's a beach right there. This is kind of like a, National Park or something. I'm not quite sure actually. Anyway, we're gonna go over and check out the beach and I'm gonna have a beach shower. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Gotta let go. Let go. Oh, we don't have life jackets. Uh, life jackets. This one for you. This one's for me. Don't forget me. Let's go check out this beach. This is gonna be amazing. Let's go to this one. Let's go to that one. Does that look like a trail there? Kind of, eh? Well, maybe we should Let's go to that one. Yeah, I bet you they have trails there. Shorter there. All right, we're gonna go to that trail over there. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Yeah, it looks like a trail to me. 
Oh, that's the thing you thought was a a, a jump, jump? A jumping. I, I mean, it could be if you climbed it. Maybe that's what it is. I think it's. I don't think for so. Boring and like. Big I think it's for danger. Woo! I doubt it's very deep. You have your portable. I'm fine. Yeah, I gotta put that battery in that. Uh, it's some sort of like thing. I don't know. Something for sure. I won't play hard anything. So we're almost at the biatch. Biatch. We made it to the beach, or the, uh, well, this, this side of the beach anyway. Look at that. I think there's a trail through here. So let's see what's going on. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi. Hey, Doodlesbury. <laughs> so this is uh, Nathaniel P. Reed Hope Sound Perfect. National Wildlife Region. Very cool. Let's see what happens here. Check out this beach. Look at this place. Wow. Unbelievable. There's people fishing. bow started smashing through the waves boom big water going right over my face and I couldn't even see the windlass or the bow it was completely submerged and then all of a sudden that rope snapped and the boat turned sideways and was now hiked literally 45 degrees over and I'm like clamoring to get back to the cockpit dude I turned I turned into the wind and I'm like okay that'll this will give us some time to just you know go nowhere and I was moving backwards at full throttle. And that's when I, that's when I had to swing her around. So I swung her around. We, and, we went into this and, marina sideways. Like the yeah, boat was like yeah, almost, yeah. it was and, like, it was like uh, fucking masts up, sails up, heeling, but then we had nothing up. <laughs> Bear pulls. Devin's like, go into the super yacht. It's fine in there. So I, I cranked the bow and that's when the boat went over even worse, dude. 45 degree angle. Right. 